This is our home in the woods where we live. We just got this wood stove last week and I'm trying not to use any sort of cardboard or paper in it. As I was taught, the best way to start your fire is with little pieces of wood. So I should probably make this outside, but... You look like a sun goddess this morning. Do I? The sun is finally out and I am loving it. I woke up with a big smile on my face. Do you love it? I'm obsessed. <laughs> this completes the space. I agree. It's so nice. And what, like the whole house just feels different. It just dried it right out. There was so much moisture in here before. I just, I feel so ready for winter now. Me too. Like I'm, I'm so much less intimidated. Like come on, let it snow already. Yeah. We live on 15 acres in the middle of nowhere at this once abandoned cabin that we are dedicated to bringing back to life. All right, when today's project gets too tough, we have a nice place to retreat to, to calm down and figure it all out. I'm so nervous for this project. To be honest, sometimes when there's a project like this one, it just works its way to the back burner because other things take priority, but also because it's slightly more intimidating than the rest. That's this project. I'm nervous. Every single time that we try to complete a bathroom build, we are always pulled in 10 different directions. So this time, we are going to see if we can... Hello, Bella. So this time, we are going to see if we can complete the bathroom from start to finish. Wish us luck. Here we are again. <laughs> okay. This is one of the most intimidating parts. We've never tiled anything before. And it's not just like putting down some flooring. It's like, where's your drain? Where's all your drinks? Grout. Grout, what is that? Mixing things. Make it actually look nice. After one whole year living here at the cabin, we're still living without a regular bathroom. We've been making do with our outhouse and our glamorous outdoor shower spots. But this year we plan on staying for the whole long cold Canadian winter. And we want to transform this space into a fully functional bathroom. We're talking proper tile floor, running water with a sink, a shower, a toilet. What else does a bathroom have? A mirror to brush your teeth, to look at yourself while you're brushing your teeth. We can't wait to wake up and experience the comforts of having a fully functioning bathroom in our living quarters. It's going to be an absolute game changer here at the cabin. Gonna slide into this project in sport mode. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know, when you put this strap behind your ankle, this is sport mode. It means you're do doing high intensity activity with your Crocs. Sports. <laughs> again, sorry. Sports. Wait, 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 again, sorry. Oh my God. Again, sorry. Sport. <laughs> Here we go, it's getting serious. <laughs> Crystal is now wet in the floor as we are told by DIY Tyler that your mortar will actually stick better. And that means we're YouTube certified for another project, which I think is a big win. That is Red Guard, and it makes your entire space waterproof. It is kind of overkill as we are not tiling a shower because it's such a small space. We decided to waterproof the entire bathroom. And now we're gonna waterproof it even better. I wanna feel we're mixing the mortar. So if you 
questions. I'm putting down some porcelain and tile. And we have an top. orange bag that is the down top. on the floor and then the, be the teacher goes on top of that. I'm just trying to figure out which bag goes first because we might have made a big mistake. <laughs> Fingers crossed we mix the right bag. Okay, the curve 121 is for the teacher. Wait, so that goes down first and then the teacher goes on top of it? Yep. Oh. Uh, and then the cure bond is to set your tile. Okay. Bye-bye. Well, we should get better at using words and not moving so fast. <laughs> not happy. It's kind of confusing because the bag says you can't even put it on OSB or anything but we told them it's going on OSB, so now we're like, do we even have any of the right products? Calling another flooring store. I'm just trying to figure out which one goes under the Ditra. The Carabon, the unmodified. Oh, okay, so the Carabon goes underneath the Ditra. Correct. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. No problem at all. Thanks, have a great day. Okay, bye. Right. Time to celebrate! Imagine we trusted the first opinion. I had a bad feeling. <laughs> they didn't seem sure. <laughs> This is how I love you. Crystal always gets it done. I never settle at the, on the first answer. <laughs> she never does. Honestly, someone will tell us one thing and they're like, Crystal, they told us it's like this. Nope, I am not. I am fact checking. We're hella lucky that you chose the right bag. I know what this is. We're making pancakes. We're making pancakes. Those are all the things. Those are cow patties. <laughs> flooring said the opposite second Taylor flooring said we actually don't know and they gave us the company who works with this product so we know we're 100% doing it correctly this is Ditra which is a waterproof yeah it's membrane. a waterproof membrane that we're gonna put all over the entire floor the tiles go on top of that and the bathroom to appear after that exactly this it's is the beginning right back try to keep up but I know you can't so I'm gonna put my feet up hey 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 we ain't next no we up no I know cause your mom wanna meet up moving like hard and with the step back I go through life yeah I know you like that yeah I used to be down but I had to fight back now the words I say give me back my check my check all right first piece of extra down time to make some more cow patties Now we can tidy up a little bit because we don't have to do anything in here for another 24 hours. Can't step on it for 24 hours. Yeah, that makes sense. Because be intense. in the beginning I put my knee down thinking that it wouldn't matter. And it does matter. It matters a lot. So Should we show them what we did? What? In order to get some corners. Yeah, I was, I'm was. i not long enough to really reach without having to put like a knee down. So you have to like really kind of bend. So I had Jasmine like in a wheelbarrow We're gonna show. Who wants to watch Dietra drive for the next 24 hours? Who wants to watch me watch Dietra drive for the next 24 hours? With 24 hours of waiting ahead of us, with the mortar to dry, we set our sights on another task, running electrical lines under our solar. Time to change gears. Don't make me a liar, feet to the fire. Begging me for an answer I don't know what the future holds What we need to do is now that we know exactly where the two arrays are, we need to trench the electrical lines directly underneath the pole mount system. That way the wires are going straight up, neat and tidy, and you don't see them. Caution tape! Stop picking a fight every day and night Just a misdemeanor don't know how long this line will hold. Gonna make it nice and clean and tidy. Directly under the pole mounts. Yeah. That line will soon be a trench to there. Yep. By yours truly. All right. We've only ever done this with someone before, never just the two of us. So we're just going to put them on without gluing them to see 
we're doing it right. But I think it's pretty cool that we know how to do this by ourselves now. It's we got cool. taught and now we can do it. I have to say, I'm super proud of us for tackling this because this is nothing that we can't do and goes to show because we're making good time, eh? Yeah, it's not bad It's all. fun work too. I'm very happy with it. Who doesn't like to play in the mud? Exactly, <laughs> splish splash. This is gonna look super good. So as you can see, we had it coming up here before at the beginning, but now it's coming all the way around and to the pole. On the bracket. On a bracket, which is gonna look amazing. With a nice four by four. Oh baby. There we go. That looks great. Yeah. I'm glad that we didn't try to even do this before because <laughs> everything changes. Everything changed. Thank you, Porter, for teaching us these amazing skills because we have met the pole with the conduit and it's ready to be backfilled already. Amazing job. Good job, Jazzy. Ritual launched their new essential protein daily shakes that contain all nine amino acids to help anyone build lean muscle mass, support bone health, and satisfy appetite. We love Ritual's protein powder. Not only can you have it on its own, but you can put it in smoothies, baked goods, and my favorite, yogurt bowls. Look at this. You actually get some substance when you're eating yogurt. It's a great way to start your day. Chug, chug, chug. It's soy-free, gluten-free, vegan, and formulated with non-GMO ingredients. No added sugar and no artificial sweeteners. It's good for all of you to know that Ritual's farmers practice regenerative farming, which means that they work with nature rather than against it, which is really beneficial for the soil. Come on, lady, let's talk about the deals. Get a massive 20% off your first month by going to ritual.com forward slash vanwives dash 20. And use code vanwives dash 20 to fuel your body. All right, let's get outside in the rain. I have one more lick of my bowl. Well, we're having a little evening in the greenhouse because while we're charging you a few things, we're gonna brighten up these babies and we're gonna give them some water. Okay, everyone, we are watering the greenhouse with the power of the generator because that runs our well pump because we do not have our solar system complete yet but stay tuned. In the meantime, we are also charging our power stations and it's awesome to be doing a little bit of everything at once. It's kind of like more than two birds and one stone. <laughs> These lights are very powerful and I'm very, very, very pleased with them, but they don't even need to be on that long, which is the glory of it. By the time that, that is done charging, these plants have a little bit of sunlight in them and then they go to bed for the night till the next day. It's all, and then we do it all over again. But now we have this Martin 20,000 BTU propane heater that runs on a thermostat. You know, it gets pretty cold at night. And it's been able to maintain temperature at around 10 to 15, which is awesome and even oh, nice. warmer sometimes. I also wanted to say that all of this is entirely experimental. We are new gardeners. We've only had a small garden in the past, but what I'm very excited for is that in the coming years, we will slowly gain knowledge and this will become an easier process. We're definitely not building the bathroom today. You're gonna regret not wearing winter ones. <laughs> We're turning the corner, turning the page, and every single second with you feels like a party right. to me. We kiss just a day goodbye and get higher, 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 higher. higher. Today we are wiring up the solar arrays. Every module on the array has wires that need to be connected together and then we are sending wire through the conduit that we lied in the trenches and that will then connect the solar array to the battery house. This is an awesome moment because it's two of the biggest milestones lately becoming one and all of the outside work for the solar system will then be finished. This means that going forward, any work that we'll be doing on the solar system will be done in the battery house inside of the workshop and we're that much closer to power and that is pretty damn close, let me tell you. These are the days where we're extra grateful for our wood stove now because the drastic temperature difference between outside and inside today is extreme, hey? Feel like I could head it out. You won't stand in touch. Got me loving every second, got me loving every second, got me loving every single second. Now that looks so fun. I was asking Adam, where's the line? How much is admission? Because I want to get on that ride. Uh, it'll cost you one coffee. 
One coffee! Oh One coffee to get up there. I catch the drift. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if I want to ride in this trailer boom, I better get to making coffee. With you feels like a party to me. It's just a day goodbye and get higher, 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 higher. You have your submission? Ready. Okay, we have a lot of wire here because we are running wires everywhere underground today. And what we're running is a 100 amp, one gauge wire, which will allow us to expand in the future if we ever have to. So right now, Adam is working on connecting the 10.8 kilowatts of solar behind me together. So what Adam is doing is connecting them all in series first. So negative to positive in groups of four. And then after we're gonna put them into parallel. This is going to ensure that we are going to double our amperage and our voltage. Giving Woo. us all the power for these gray days. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Have a happy out light on this morning. Here we go. Well said. Uh -huh. You're probably wondering what the heck are you doing with that outside in the winter? But you've all asked this question. A lot of people are curious, how are you gonna get the wires through? This is how. Apparently it's like a well-known trick. Yeah, it's a cool trick. I can't wait to try it out. Hopefully it works, because I actually am really nervous about this part. Uh, our shop Mac ain't the biggest one you can buy, but I think it will work. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Airtight suction. Good luck. And now we have to go to the other end. Oh my it's goodness. It's on blow, it's on blow. We gotta change. Change it to suck! <laughs> it's on blow, we need suck! Oh yeah, it's a pulling, eh? Here we go. Nothing in there. Nothing! Uh oh, I don't know what's going on. we are going. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm actually figuring out where that mouse is. Nothing. Nothing. And that's a lot of rope for sure. Like it for sure made it almost there. All right, it wouldn't be a Van Wives video if there wasn't some chaos, right? Due to the first rope being too heavy, I'm going to go to either the gas station and neighbors and see if they have fishing line. You got it? We just, we just got it. There must have been dirt inside the conduit, that's why. Oh, woohoo! Okay, I'm, co I'm coming home now. Okay, see you soon. Okay, bye, I love you. Oh, thank goodness we got it. There it is. Turns out there was a little bit of dirt somewhere in the conduit and it was getting stuck on that. But first we're going to use this string to pull through stronger string and that stronger string will pull, pull through the wires. Working with what we got here. <laughs> It's through. Yes. So excited. <laughs> I can't believe we're gonna have wires at each end. It's just the first conduit and we have three more to go. But the feeling is indescribable. Oh. Got it! Woo! Woo the day's flown by as per usual. With the winter schedule upon us. We're gonna fish the wires from the second array to the garage, and we'll see how much time we have left today because by the looks of it, not too much time. First try! Woohoo! Woo! That's how you do it right there, Good eh? job! Right We're on. getting better and better. All right, Adam! You got one? You got a big one? <laughs> got a whopper on here! <laughs> <laughs> Night shift. <laughs> Night shift. <laughs> <laughs> a little place off the map, maybe we could share a little shade. Welcome back to Crystal's Barista Club, <laughs> where we're serving up the best lattes in the woods. And the only lattes in the woods. Correct. <laughs> no, they're the best too. Cheers. Thank you so much. Big day. We had some blue skies. Not as wet. It's gonna be an even better day. Good morning! We've got 
a quick little visit from everyone's favorite Porter. Porter just showed up with a Lord. A Lord. <laughs> Face is frozen, you know? <laughs> this is a problem. Talking is a lot harder. Porter just showed up with a load of film because once we finish with this area, I'm gonna get in there with the excavator and try and level it all out. We're making the mouse. Yeah, let's go. That jaw is just a going this morning. When Crystal does things that she's really concentrated on, that's what happens. <laughs> it's kind of like people when they stick their tongue in. I'm sure everyone has a face. Yeah, at least I don't do that. Don't make fun of the people that do it. <laughs> work we're all getting done right now. We almost have two loads of fill completely spread. Under the solar area is looking so clean. The wires are coming up the four by four posts on the disconnect switches. Super clean and super nice. And almost all of the solar panels are now connected in parallel and series. And one thing I'm loving about today is that all the groundwork is really making sense. It's really coming to life and I feel like it's a lot easier to understand now that you see the wires come from one end of the land to the other end of the land. It was like all that hard work, probably the hardest work we've done, that got covered. You can now see and realize what is going to happen. It is going to be such an exciting couple of weeks coming up with finally making the connections now that we're at this stage. I'm really thinking we're gonna have power before winter. Truly feeling grateful for the team that we have right now and where we're all at. Also, Crystal has not lost her excavator skills. She is crushing it in there. I tried and I just don't have the patience to make it look perfect. The back and forth is just, well, a little bit boring for my brain. <laughs> hey, Tyler and Todd, I'm taking your electrical pieces. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> I'm kidding, you two. <laughs> Not really though. We need these two and they're a hot hey, commodity. You <laughs> We've made it. All the way in the battery house. Look at this area. <laughs> Excavator operator. We're putting the wires into the garage if you want to come. Yeah, I'm going to come now. It's pretty exciting. Woo! The wires are in the building. Good job. All right, no problem. Thoughtful. I'll see you later, of course. Bye. See you. Always a pleasure. Thank you, thank you. Adios. Back to the bathroom build. Back to the bathroom build. I'm still nervous. <laughs> 48 hours later. I have bangs and I'm still nervous. Oh yeah. I found some scissors last night, made some bangs. Cut back to that. Get it? <laughs> okay, what is going on? I'm doing my own hair. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm at the shop. <laughs> what is going on right now? So today we're actually gonna put the tile down now that this is entirely dry and cured. And yeah, look at it everyone. It looks phenomenal. It feels phenomenal. We have to do these seams still though, okay? Yeah, the seams and the baseboards and the corners. Would that be a right now thing? That is a right now thing, but with the same mortar as the tile goes on. the band that is going to go along the seams where the Dietra meets on the floor. This is going to make sure that it is entirely waterproof. A very important step. And we have four seams. How are the seams going? It's going good. Getting the hang of mortar. And while we're here, no, while we're here, <laughs> we want to ask everyone for some tips because this is our first bathroom build and we know that a lot of you are pros. So if you have any tips on shower building, plumbing, bathroom building, waterproofing, blah, 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 leave it because we will soak it all up. We are sponges and we would love your knowledge. So we're so sorry to do this to you all, but we will see you all next Sunday. Thank you for watching. We love you all. Love you all. And Bella says, cue the ending. <laughs>